Hi, hello, how are you, Amanda, Saint Artist? We're gonna do our eyes today and I'm gonna stay on topic. I've been talking about eyeshadows where you have your similar, oh, let's do that. You've got your similar colors here, your similar shimmers here, and one color. I did Cafe last time and I'm gonna take Cafe out and I'm gonna put in Lullaby. This is more of a mauve color. It is somewhat similar. Should I change that again? Let's change it because it's just too much, too much the same. It is mauve and purple and it is one of my favorites because I've hit 10, but we need to change it up. Let's do Zion. Orange. Oh, <laughs> yes. Let's do orange. Orange is our one and only color. This is such a pretty color and a lot of people are like, eh, I don't know if you know what you're talking about, but I know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna grab the blend brush and then I'm gonna grab an eyeshadow brush, maybe an eyeshadow brush. I've been really liking it. I'm gonna go into my brightening, which is white peach, and I'm gonna put this on my lid and I'm gonna sweep this over. And this is just canceling out my discoloration, veins, stuff, stuff. And then I'm gonna go into, oh no, I'm not. Okay, now we're gonna get into the colors. Okay, so these colors right here, Mama, Cupcake, Valencia, and Pup. I'm gonna do, okay, let's go right here actually, because I have hooded eyes, I, I wanna do my shimmer first. This is, okay, we've got Drift, Sabrina, and Rome. I'm gonna go into Rome because I should change things up sometimes. I love Drift, it's my favorite, but I'm gonna use Rome today. And I'm just using the blend brush and I'm just smearing this all up here because I really like having a little bit of shimmer up here. I was told it makes your brows look higher. Shh, done. All right, now I'm gonna go into these. These are all mattes and I am going to use, I'm gonna use Mama today because it's pink and I like pink. We're just gonna tap that on. And this is all I'm doing right now is setting my brightening so that things don't crease and it creates a blending surface. So I'm just using Mama and it just it just makes it, look at that little touch of pink. Isn't that nice? It's super nice. It is, because I said so. I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna kind of dust it off in case there's excess. And now, and that's it, that's how you set your lids. It's good. And I just like to show these, but I'm going to go into Zion. Zion is so pretty. It pulls a little different on everybody. I think it sometimes looks a little pink on me. I'm going to grab it with the fluffy end and then I'm going to pop it up top. Now I try to rest my eyes as much as I can so I can see exactly where it's placing. And then I just sweep it back and forth above the crease on that brow bone. Isn't that so pretty? Yes. The answer is yes. I'm gonna take the small one and I'm gonna press into it. And I'm gonna go on this outer part of my lid and deepen it using a denser end. Look at the way a, just a denser end deepens that, that, that color. Isn't that pretty? Pressy press, use that fluffy end to blend it out. I'm gonna take what's left and I'm just gonna go down here under my eye and smoke it out in that. And that's it. Zion, this scary orange color looks like that. It's so pretty, tapping it on, tap off the excess, and we're just gonna go on that brow bone. Once you figure out your placement, you don't need to have your eyes resting and open, but seeing where it is, feeling where you're putting it, and creating a habit. Put your colors exactly where you like them every time, and then just change out colors. Using that small dense scent, deepening that outer corner, then blending it out, and then with that mama, it's just, really pretty and then whatever's left it goes down here i like having it smoked out on the bottom because that's how i like my eyeshadow look at this four minutes four minutes i do want black because i do i know this is supposed to be one so i'm taking my eyeshader brush and i'm going to go into salem black it looks gray on the website there's been some back and forth with some people where I'm trying to explain to them that the colors that are on the website aren't always necessarily the truth to tone. I mean, Salem is black, but it's gray on the website. And I'm just kissing my inner lid there. Whoops, not the color, boom. And then I'm pressing this onto my waterline. And then I go to the corner here and I just flick it out. 
and it just creates a little soft wing. And anything left can go on my lower lash line like that. It's so pretty. I didn't smear it all over. It's good stuff. And now that brush is locked and loaded for at least a week. I don't need to apply black to it again. Okay, that's it. Zion with the usual suspects. Okay. <laughs> what was that voice? All right, guys, I'm going to go finish my Diet Coke and have a great day.